In this video, we are going to go through the steps needed to add mixed numbers. So the first example we're going to work through is the mixed number 3 and 1 half, adding the mixed number 2 and 1 fourth. Our first step is to change the mixed numbers into improper fractions. 2 times 3 would be 6, plusing one more would be 7 halves. And when I change 2 and 1 fourth into an improper fraction, I go 4 <laughs> times 2, which is 8, plusing one more, which is 9 fourths. Now I have to go through the steps to find equivalent fractions that have the same denominator for 7 halves and 9 fourths. In order to do that, I'm going to list 7 halves, and then I'm going to find all the fractions that are equivalent to 7 halves. I do this simply by listing the multiples of 7, which is the numerator, so it would be 7, and then the multiples of the denominator, it would be 2, or halves. The next fraction that would be equivalent would be 14, and then we will go to 21, and then we'll go to 28. And our denominator would go 2, 4, 6, 8. Again, on the top, we are listing the multiples of the numerator, and on the bottom, we're listing the multiples of the denominator. Now let's do the same for 9 fourths. We need to find an equivalent fraction for 9 fourths. Our first step is to list the multiples of 9. So that's 9, 18, 27, 36. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16. I noticed here that this fraction has a denominator of 8, and it is equivalent, equivalent to 7 halves. And I notice that down here, this fraction has a denominator of 8, and it is equivalent to 9 fourths. So I'm going to be adding 28 eighths, because that's equivalent to 7 halves, and 18 eighths, because that's equivalent to 9 fourths. My denominator is going to stay 8. Now that I found that common denominator, I need to keep that common denominator. And then when I add 28 plus 18, I have 46. 46 eighths. The last step is that we need to change that improper fraction back into a mixed number. And we do that by thinking to ourselves, what is... 46 divided by 8. We know that 8 times 5 is 40, so it's 5, but I have a remainder of 6, which becomes my new numerator. So 3 and 1 half, plusing 2 and 1 fourth, equals 5 and 6 eighths. Let's do it again. Do a new problem. Again, what we're working through here is we are adding mixed numbers that don't have a common denominator. Our next example will be 6 and 2 thirds, plusing 1 and 1 fifth. First step, change the mixed numbers into improper fractions. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 more is 20. So this becomes 20 thirds. And then we are adding this mixed number, but we're going to list it as an improper fraction. So I do 5 times 1, which is 5, plus 1, which is 6 fifths. 
Now you can notice that we don't have a common denominator. So we have to find a common denominator for 20 thirds and 6 fifths. And again, we do that by listing all the equivalent fractions for 20 thirds and 6 fifths until we find a denominator that matches. The easy way to do this is to list the multiples of 20, which would be 20, 40, 60, and 80. Could go on, but I'm stopping there just to check to see if I'll have a common denominator. The denominators are the multiples of 3, which are 3, 6, 9, 12, I'm going to go to 15, 15. So now I'm going to find equivalent fractions for 6 fifths until I find a denominator that matches one of the equivalent fractions we have for 20 thirds. So the multiples of 6 on the top are 6, 12, 18, 24. The multiples of 5 on the bottom are 5. 10, 15, 20. At this point, I see that I have a 15 in this denominator, and I have a 15 here for that denominator. So this creates our new equation, which becomes 100 fifteenths plus 18 fifteenths. Of course, once we find that common denominator, we keep it through the addition equation. So our denominator will be 15. Our numerator will be 118. The last step is that we have to convert 118 15 back into a mixed number. I do this by division. I'm thinking inside my head, what is 118 divided by 15? What is that going to equal? So I have 15 times <clears throat> 8, 15 times 8 is too much. So it's 15 times 7, which actually equals... 15 times 7 is 5, carry the 3 is 105. So I'm going to have a remainder, 118 minus 105. It means I have a remainder of 13. So it's going to be a remainder of 13, and again, that denominator stays the same.